day two of Carolina Drag Cruise. We're here in rural Spartanburg, uh, catching up with Tony and Graham Hayes. Uh, their Nova was expected to be one of the leaders at this event, but they've had nothing but troubles over the first day. They have the car up on a hoist right now, so we're gonna have a chat to them and find out what's going on. Trying to get this thing back together, so. And, uh, went pretty smooth today. We uh, got the old eight, and this one's been in the car a bunch of times, so we left our cross member for this trans back in Virginia, but uh, we're gonna make us up a little mount right here, and hopefully next couple months we'll let it down and get it back rolling. <laughs> See if we can't go get our ET back from <laughs> for the rest of the week. Uh, it looks like it probably got the clutches in it. We're not sure. It's a fresh glide. Came right off the dyno and went in here Tuesday, Monday, Sunday night. Sunday Sunday. night. Yeah, so uh, we're not real sure. Something fluids trash and. Uh, we don't really know. It just blew through right on the first pass. So ever since then, it, uh, we just kept hurting it. So we're not sure what got it. Might have uh, might have some case problems or something like that. But not not real sure. Drove it back last night to the motel on the gear vendor overdrive. We literally locked it up to get back. We had to push it through a couple stoplights. <laughs> but once we got it going, it uh, it kept itself moving. We'll have to uh, turn the RPM and burn the fuel. So it'll be all right there. We can link it around, try to make the rest of the week. All right, so this is your shop. Yes, sir. Who are you and where are we? Stephen Coggins, uh, SMC Restorations, Fort Merck, South Carolina. I'm just glad I could help these guys out, let them use the lift, transmission jack. Now you're racing yourself, so why don't we go uh, check out that truck just quickly? All right. Just owned 68 C10 shop truck, um, LS1 swap, cam, heads, um, nothing special. Uh, I use it to go get paint, materials, parts. So I normally, the fastest the truck's been 796. Uh, that was at Shady Side last year. So, we've made it to our destination, Ware Shoals Dragway, uh, out here in South Carolina for day two of Carolina Drag Cruise. Um, this is a very retro feeling track. Um, a lot of old school vibes here. Uh, the wooden bleachers, the little, small little control tower over there that you can see. Um, so, yeah, this is um, one of those cool tracks that is just hidden away here in the Carolinas that you love to see. So looking at the surface here, uh, it's a pretty pretty narrow kind of track. Um, it's a narrow groove. It's not a whole lot of prep out here right now. I think they're gonna give it a little bit of love um, before we start. Um, but yeah, very, very unique track. Um, it's, uh, it feels a little bit like uh, we're going back in time. You can almost imagine some, some gases out here or some old school nitro funny cars. But yeah, today we just got a whole bunch of uh, badass street cars. I think given the heat, um, and the track surface if we see anything in the fives on on the eighth mile today i think that'll be an impressive kind of run so i think we're gonna have to wait for this sun to go down a little bit um to really see what this track is capable capable of holding
I'm Stacy Galloway from Hendersonville, North Carolina. This is a 92 Fox Body brand new build, uh, turbo, which is new to me. I might as well try to be speaking uh, Japanese or something, but uh, so far fun. Hope to learn it a lot better and uh, hope to get to do a whole lot more drag and drive stuff. Now you're a bracket racer turned dragon driver. Yes, sir. What is it about dragon drive that's kind of pulled you in? Um, I really just like these are family and friends and uh, the hanging out. You know, driving her on the street that has been a blast driving these back roads you know outside of the town outside of Greenville uh, from Spartanburg and that is a lot of fun um, I, just hanging out and having a good time you know when I go racing it's like I got a lot of I feel like I got a lot of pressure you know this is I don't I just having a good time yeah that's not something you can do in your dragster is it take it down a country road and enjoy that <laughs> no that that I'm sure the police will frown on that pretty bad <laughs> I'm Darren Turner. Uh, this is my 1970 C10. It's a twin turbo six liter. Uh, running limited street. Hoping to survive. Right on. How'd you go yesterday? Uh, it went okay. Uh, had some issues uh, with the starting line. It was a little hot and greasy, so turned it down. But we got a time slip in, and we'll we'll see what we can do here. Uh, probably similar success here. So maybe we can get a consistent ET. Welcome to day three of Carolina Drag Cruise. We are back in the Applebee's parking lot uh, where we are preparing for a cruise. Uh, everyone's gonna head to Union County Dragway very shortly. Um, so yeah, the weather is, again, hot, um, but also pretty humid today. We've had some rain. You can probably see the clouds in the background um, just leaving us now. So hopefully we get a dry racetrack uh, once we get out to Union. Last night, there was some big news. Uh, we thought Kirk Eager was going to have the lead of the event uh, coming into today, but on the drive, he had uh, some oil pressure issues and a rod knock. So he has withdrawn from the event. So that puts Daniel Bowers into the lead now with his black Mustang. Um, he didn't have the greatest night last night at Ware Shoals. He had to pedal it to like a 6.0, but it was still enough to maintain the lead. Um, Right now, it looks like it's going to be between Daniel, 
and uh, Graham Hayes in the Nova. He finally got that thing down track last night. Went at 550, uh, pretty late at night. We'd already left uh, to go to the, the checkpoint by the time he ran, but he made the run. Uh, so he's actually closed the gap a little bit now and brought his average into the fives. So if he can have a strong run today, and uh, depending on what Daniel does, I mean, I think it's gonna be a pretty close fought thing uh, going into these final two days. So as exciting as it would be to take a Nissan Rogue to the track today. I've now got a much better offer from Larry. He's gonna give me a lift to the track in his uh, pretty sweet hot rod, so let's go for a ride. a much better ride in than the usual uh, rental car offerings so yeah here we are at Union Dragway day three Carolina drag cruise uh, they've got another big event going on here I think like a small tire radial type deal so the track prep here should be on point a lot of guys are really excited to be here today um, I'm hopeful that we're gonna see I think some low fives tonight like it's not as not quite as hot today the track conditions are going to be a lot better um i know that the hayes family with that nova they want to go low fives i know daniel in the mustang he's got the potential to go low fives so i think we're going to see some of that potential uh, coming out tonight Kenna throws, uh, just a Gen 1 stick shift Coyote car, uh, street car that I bring to the track and beat on and race, but nothing special, nothing, nothing fancy about it really. So the southeast, it seems like it's like full of fox bodies. Why, why is the fox body so popular around here? I've had a fox body since I was a senior in high school, so I've always had one, so it's just, I'm a fox body guy, just always liked them. So, not sure, but yeah, everybody around here's got fox bodies. Now, can you, can you still pick them up cheap, or is it getting harder and harder? You can't hardly find them anymore. They're they're way overpriced now. So yeah, they're they're very very sought after cars.
name's Chris Miller. We got a 79 Camaro, it's a six liter 4L80 trans brake, big turbo. So, it's, uh, we went our quickest pass at Greer Thursday night, 639 at 108, and uh, fall wear shoals like everybody else. We're uh, maybe fighting a little O2 or wideband problem, so hopefully we got over that and gonna make a good hit tonight. Good deal. Now this, this thing looks pretty rowdy off the start line. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely feels rowdy too. So there's a, there's some suspension tuning to be done, but we'll take care of it. It's built in a dirt floor barn. Um, the the best shop I have is some plywood laying in a barn with oil change pit. And nine days before the event, we pulled the transmission out of it and uh, on on the dirt floor and, and got it back in come out here to to do it it's all most everything is done by us three standing here all turbo kit fabricated and everything Uh, made a good A to B hit in the heat of the day and track cool to cool down came around and we got right in line good right second car after they prepped it and uh, threw down our normal race tune for a radial track and went a 503 at 140 some mile an hour and uh, went back up there we hot lapped it tried to make another one and uh, knocked tires off came in a little too quick could have probably pulled some timing and done whatever but that's bench racing so we're going to load it up for tonight and meet tomorrow at Shady Side. Shady side, so uh, we'll save it for tomorrow and see if we can't throw down a 490 something for uh, for at least one day, get us at least one time. So this is one thing I haven't seen before. It is uh, power wheels drag racing for the kids in the staging lanes. So I think this might have to be a sick week 2023 class. I think you got to bring the power wheels like with you for the week, and we race them at every track. What do you think, Tom? So running alongside the Carolina drag cruise guys today, uh, there's this heads up class, uh, it's called 28, um, basically it's like a 275 tyre, uh, they run steel roof and quarters, um, pretty rowdy kind of stuff, um, with, that, with that small tyre and a lot of horsepower, um, it's pretty wild, so we're going to show you a bit of that too.
150 at 126. Uh, kind of down on mile per hour, but we're going to have to step it up the pace. Uh, it was a little easy out the hole, so I'm going to throw some more power to it. So it'll do.